What's up guys? We're gonna be doing two faces. We're gonna be drawing a wonderful girl here and we're gonna draw her horse next to her. And uh, we can go ahead and jump right into it, but I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Alan E.J. and I'm the world's fastest caricature artist. I say that because I, you know, I took it was it was really hard to get there it, it took some hard work to get there and uh, I just want to say thank you to all of those of you who are constantly showing support and uh, well here we are we're about to get started with these wonderful faces uh, by the way thank you for all of you who have recently become a follower you guys are honestly you know pushing me to become better and to constantly push my art to the next level and uh, thank you so much for being here so let's get this going um, and you know pretty much what I use to get the sketch going is just a mechanical pencil and this mechanical pencil is a uh, 5.6 millimeter um, lead holder and this ergonomically designed but really you can do it with any pencil it's just a tool so this is just one way of approaching this problem and we're gonna hopefully solve it this this day here so I'm just gonna try and lay out uh, how I want the faces to be so I'm kind of seeing that her face is sort of uh, Sort of squarish, but I also want to make room for her hair So what I'm seeing is like her shape here is a general like a teardrop. So it, it goes About there, so I'm gonna go ahead and push her face a little bit higher up Just so that we can make the face and the hair and the shoulder fit right here and additional hair on this side and then we're gonna look over on this side and the horse is also like a teardrop so the teardrop comes from this end and it does this and it has a little bit of a circle right down here it has you know um, eyes that fit right about here and the hair fits there the ears are there o other teardrops up here and then this is how I you know I like to lay things out is just simple shapes just to get it going just to make it much faster um, those of you who would like to um, you know show support you're welcome to purchase badges by the way and um, if you guys didn't know I do have a YouTube channel and that is a link that is in the bio so you guys can subscribe and like and comment to let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me. so on the meantime let's get this going right so this is the basic layout of the face and let's uh, let's try to break down further uh, what the shapes would be for the horse. So I'm thinking it'll be, I think it's a trapezius, tra trapezoid. I, you know, I can't remember the shape of that, the name of that shape, but it's something like, like that. So it's like a, it's definitely a quadrilateral, you know, sort of at the top, longer at the bottom, angling like this. So there's a triangle right there, triangle here, which marks the the center of the face then um, but we do want to sort of take this side and go straight out more we're gonna have a teardrop there and a eh, almost a teardrop here right there those are the nostrils I added a little more body to that side and we're gonna square this off right about the center of the nostrils is where the other shape gets created sort of opposite of what you see on the head it kind of mirrors down and smaller right down here and then here is the the jawline for the horse and this is an eye the eyes are actually far apart so I gotta make sure I grab that and we're gonna draw the hair this is, again, this is just the beginning of it. This is just a way of getting your art to move forward because you don't want to stay stagnant. Like, notice we just started with these shapes and it's starting to look, it's starting to take shape to what we need it to be. So let's do some ears and the straps are above the head, uh, over the mouth. And there's a few things going on in there and to the side as well. Cool. So her face, I'm not sure that I'm going to be sketching it like that. Um, I just, I'm more comfortable with just 
knowing, been doing this for a while, been doing this for 15 years, so like doing this for a while, it kind of uh, allows you to do stuff like this where you can just, you know, kind of go right in with the lines and make it happen. Make sure that you guys go and subscribe on YouTube because that's where I'm going to reveal um, what this tool is and uh, <laughs> you know how to and in comparison to other things other markers how it performs for me so eh, there's a few a few videos that are coming up I'd love for you guys to be a part of it thank you guys so much for getting me a hundred and twenty followers on TikTok. That is just insane. Uh, if you guys don't know me from TikTok, welcome. <laughs> uh, either way, but I want to welcome you from TikTok as well. And uh, thanks so much for showing that much wonderful, wonderful support. Again, it does help me to keep moving forward, which is so awesome. You know, it motivates you, you know, when you get a little bit of feedback, a little bit of uh, attention, that's awesome. Greatly appreciate it. Just a couple of days ago, I was celebrating 70,000, um, and the day before that, I was celebrating 40,000, so I, I'm just thankful and uh, appreciative of your support and constantly, uh, you know, moving things in the right direction, um, I'm trying to constantly provide value for you guys, so you know I definitely uh, appreciate you guys showing me love. Faces are a lot easier for me when they're human faces. So this is why a lot of the time um, you've seen me sort of pre-sketch and, and sketch out like what a, an animal face would look like. So this is where we are today. Let's, uh, let's get some of these ruffles things on her. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, um, you guys are also welcome to check out my uh, IGTV that is going that that I have recently posted, um, and my reels. My reels show a lot of different tutorials on different ways of approaching a problem. Um, I mean, you know, I've I regularly point out to people that it's important to be able to do uh, lines in one direction and in the opposite direction as well um, and it's it's what has gotten me to uh, be the fastest uh, caricaturist um, that little aspect that may seem insignificant whereas you can draw a line down and you can just turn the page and just draw the same line down 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 every time instead you can save time and just go down and then right from there go up and down and up to literally half the time you can take on just being able to do that. So uh, a little tip that you guys, um, you know, I, I would love for you guys to uh, hang on to is to draw things in the opposite way. We're gonna draw this wonderful little beast here. And, you know, there's similarities between humans and animals, and there really is, but 
you know, there are things that just don't add up, you know? So that's why it's good to just sketch it out, feel it. Does it look like the horse? Right now, it doesn't. Um, and right now, it, it although it has the shape and everything, um, I'm seeing that there's a, a additional length that I need to add. So right now, it's sort of at this point, and this is about where that should be. So there's this mass. Uh, I'm going to look that up. Whoa. I'm going to look that up real quick. This is one of those things, you know, quadrilaterals. Images. And I'm talking about this guy right here. This is an isosceles trapezium. So it is a trapezium, isosceles. Now we know. Ah, so it is a trapezoid, good. Yeah, but this one that is specific to uh, being equal in uh, angles, that is an isosceles trapeze trapezoid. And uh, if it were a little slanted, a little skewed, it is just a trapezoid that way. So now we know, there you go. Look that up real quick. All right, let's move on. We're gonna actually push this in. There's this little thing that's like a curve that comes down and then there's the nostrils. I needed an eraser. this curve that now comes down all the way to here and that curve has a trapezoid trapezoid right here trapezoid sort of upside down and then this little shape right there it's kind of like a little square boom kind of gives it that dimension going down but it's actually farther that way and farther down this Way. Boom. And down. Yes, that looks much better already. Like that's exactly what we're looking for. And we're drawing some horses and we're drawing some faces. And we're drawing some animals and we're drawing some humans. That's just the one human really. Put this right there. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get going on. What you want to do uh, is think about the overlaps when you want to create you know the shapes of the nostril and things like that you want to think of what is overlapping uh, visually you know ultimately oh did not think that was on stuck but my daughter made this for me so I wanted to use this as an example <clears throat> ultimately you know this this is a two-dimensional shape right but how do you know it's, it's rotating in 3D, you know? And that all has to do with, with the different um, <laughs> interactions and uh, overlaps. So, you know, there is a point in which this shape becomes overlapped to itself. And that's about there for you. And you can kind of see the back of it and the front of it at the same time. So that's, that's kind of where you want to be here. You, you can see behind this, which is the front, and then also sort of what is on top. Maybe that's not the best, best example, but it's just a, a way of uh, trying to understand it because uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like, uh, 
it's, it definitely takes practice. So for me, uh, for me to explain it uh, will just take a little bit of, of practice. So I, let, let me leave it at that and see if you guys can understand me just fine, then great. If not, then do ask more questions. Um, let me know if that was if that sufficed. But when it comes to like doing not sure you're, you're sort of seeing like a, the inside of a cylinder. So that's another way of thinking about it. Let's do this right here. So when I'm looking at this and I rotate it, I can see the front of it, but I could also see the back of it. And within that rotation, you know, you can also see the inside of it. And in that inside part, that is where the magic is, is really happening. Like, you know, that's, that's where you see like the front sort of cut into what the front or the inside of the front inside <laughs> um, and the front outside kind of overlap. And that's how you can sort of um, think about it when you're drawing it. Just you have to do certain lines that are overlapping so that you can kind of push, you know, one thing back. And then as you create more lines, you, 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 you push more things back there. And, and as I do something like that, now I know that this is behind this and that this is farther forward than this and and that all of that is enclosed in one so hopefully that helps What's important about thinking about these shapes um, is that the basic shapes will take the form of many items, many accessories, and and different um, in this in this world. I mean, you can think of a of a cylinder. Um, as a tree trunk, you could do it, you know, you could draw a tree trunk from thinking about a cylinder. Uh, and what I call this is, is the core truths of art, of, of our rea reality, you know, um, that in itself will allow you to create so much. If you simply think about the shape, the initial and essential and uh, basic shape of it all. So there we go. Uh, we're getting our horse where we need it to be. We're gonna get uh, some more strap things popping out of here. Cool. We're gonna make this. anytime you draw anything you know you you know what why do you draw the features think of think about that why do you draw those features well that's because it's in the front you know and you want to enclose the shape to show that it's in the front be you know sort of behind or in front of, of this and that this is the outline that is sort of behind it and uh, you know just like that ear why doesn't it have another ear well because is behind this this is overlapping it s fully covering that other ear given the angle of the face okay so here's another thing you know how do you know that she's facing in that direction well because the features are farther this way than they are this way um, and in relation to her facial structure you know I'm showing that the cheek is sort of farther in 
with this line because of this space and because of this space. So this, vi this little line right there shows the entire cheek right here just visually and and that's the kind of thing you got to think about when you are drawing too you know you don't want to finish all the lines like okay this is a, a cheek you know you don't want to draw an entire you know with black marker you know <laughs> that's the kind of thing that you can you know sort of break down and make it look cool just by um, doing overlaps so the overlaps you know like in the hair the hair is one of the main things that shows overlaps every single time you know this is in front and then it wraps around to the back right there and then this takes presidency over the front and then this takes presidency over that front you know but all of that is behind her arm and her neck you know it's all part of her head and, and this also shows that the top is behind this part plane of the face mm, love this love art love explaining stuff if i can i mean Hopefully uh, it helps you guys out out there. Definitely I urge you guys to draw a horse in, an, in a beautiful face like this as well. Um, just choose two subjects really, you know, it doesn't have to be these two uh, subjects. It could be a, a man and uh, his cat, you know, and then you can just break down the cat into, you know, the basic shapes. And from there you will um, <clears throat> create the face. And why does it look a certain way? Why is this in front? Why is that in back? Then you ask yourself, where are the overlaps? Let's do this. Let's, let's get some art done. All right, so we have a horse, folks. We have a horse. And I'm super stoked because... There's so much that uh, I have to get done before November. <laughs> so here's another thing, like this, you know, line is is the. Uh, the strap on the on the face here. Why does it look the way it does? And I'm gonna give you a clue. I actually drew it in a way that makes it look like it's moving. What do you mean, Alani? What do I mean? <clears throat> what I mean is I'm making it seem as if she's sort of swinging this that way because it's unnatural for this strap to be swinging to the right if she's so far to 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 that side and you know in the picture it actually shows like she's holding it okay but through that what's happening is here can you see that what's happening is it's making it look like she's sort of moving that forward and and the horse needs to follow it still um so even lines like this will give it your art give your art movement um and and sort of you know a character really like you know what is what is happening you know it gives it, it, the, the your drawing sort of a story to follow so that's kind of cool you know where you could just tell I mean, I could have swung her hair this way, you know, we could do that. And that in itself gives the hair character. You see, it's, it, and, and as a character artist, as a, as a character designer, um, you are in control of these kinds of things that <clears throat> you give the movement to the characters to give it, um, to give it, a story what what is going on exactly you know <clears throat> let's do another so let's see do we have another one that could work on?
Did you need an eraser? I need an eraser. See? I needed it. Thank you for those of you who have <clears throat> who have donated, who have purchased a badge. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Let me see who we got here. Hey, Papi Dimple, thanks so much. And we got Joa. Let me see. Joa, so much. Joa Ofreitas, thank you so much. Let me get you guys pinned here. Joa Ofreitas, you just got pinned and you got a shout out for hooking it up with a badge. Thanks so much. All right, so we're gonna get the color going right away. I'd like to, let me, let me go right here. Okay, I would like to take a photo of this, do that. Oh, I also need to sign it. Okay, so first we're gonna color this one. And the main reason behind that is because the dark, the, the horse is so dark. Um, if we were to do the color of the horse first, we would make the mistake of then coloring this part and, and it'll smear. It, it would be a mistake to do it first because it'll, it's so dark. Dark colors seem to just run right off the, of the paper somehow. And, um, and, and they get smeared into the other lighter colors. So I wanna apply these colors first and put the lighting in there first and then do the shading for the horse. Hope that makes sense to you guys. I'll show you what that means. If you guys wanna support with purchasing a badge, I greatly would appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe on YouTube and that you like and comment on the, your videos, your favorite videos. I'm gonna actually take this wonderful color right here and uh, bring it close. Let me see what's up with this. Can you guys see that okay? Nope, it's off the frame. I apologize. Let's go ahead and zoom in for you though. You guys can see what I'm doing right there. It's amazing what technology can do, isn't it? You know, you guys get to watch me draw live over here and, um, you know, you guys get to um, comment and all that stuff and I get to reply to you guys. You know, I get to be thankful <laughs> for you guys uh, to be part of this broadcast and, you know, um, what are you thankful for, you know? Let me know in the comments. Usually, whenever I do a live, um, you guys can vote on getting up close and personal. So you guys can see the action as it happens on my page. And that means that I will take the phone from there and put it right next to the page and, and draw right here. And you guys can see what's going on. If you guys would like to do that, I need 80%, just 80% 
to do a secret emoji that I will be mentioning in just a moment. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do the smiley face, the smiley face, any smiley face. Get me a smiley face on the comments below, and I'll go ahead and do up close and personal. I need 80% of you guys to respond with a smiley emoji if you would like to go up close and personal. We got one, two, three, four, five. If we got 34 people, that means we need at least 34. At least, at least 30, rather. No, wait. 80%, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 8, 24. We need at least 24. And if you guys do that, then we will go ahead and do up close and personal for you. Sorry about that. You didn't miss anything. I received a call um, and you guys were not able to see anything, but I also stopped the action so you guys can uh, have time to put some thumbs up or rather smiley faces. I've only received about eight faces, eight smiley faces. If I could get, if I could get 24 smiley faces from different people, then I'll go ahead and do up close and personal. It is up to you. You don't have to do it, you know, but. It's just a way of seeing the action closer. <laughs> let me know, let me know, let me see how many, how many smileys got to go. Haha, <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, all right, doing good, guys. We need a few more. We need a few more smileys. Turn it in, turn them in. Hit send. Hablo? Hablo con ella? Le van a dar un recorte. Okay, let's see how many more faces we got. Yeah, nice guys, well done. Well, we now have 24, so that means, <laughs> that means that we can go up close and personal regardless, because you guys did awesome. So here we go. We're about to switch it up. Boom. This is what we're looking at. This is what we're looking, this is what I'm looking at. Welcome, welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. Thanks so much for your follow. Thanks so much for your support. We're drawing a horse and we're drawing a wonderful face of a lady, young lady here. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here. This is up close and personal with Alani J. We're drawing this wonderful face right over here. See if we can make it bigger for you. All right, cool. 
Just gonna go ahead and keep pushing through. All right, folks, it seems to be, I seem to be a busy guy today. Popular guy, I guess, because I'm getting phone calls left and right. I need to finish this piece. So to those of you calling, peace. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks for being here. Um, my name is Eleni J, and I'm drawing some faces. Drawing a horse and a young lady. Beautiful smile. There it is. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's see some blues. Let's see some purples from the crown. Why is that? Why does it look like purple? Well, that's because the reflective lights all over the place. Look at that. It looks so purplish. That's what I am doing here. And you guys get to watch it up close and personal as you guys were very responsive with getting those smiley faces up on the comments. Get some black on here, black on this hair. It looks like it's her hair is brown. And you can tell by just simply this brownish tone right there. But for the most part, um, it's... Black all over here. All over everywhere else, rather. I'm just going to... Laying that brown a little bit, laying that black right after. Um, be very, very careful not to go into the ear there. Take care, man. Good luck on good luck on TV, man. For me? Yeah. Yay! I'm gonna go on TV. <laughs> My son is super excited. It's so fun. Okay, te bendiga. I love you too. Uh, you have school, babe. Uh, yeah, but you need to be here. Be on TV. That's what I heard. I it's okay. You will. One day. And this is what we're looking at, guys. Right over here. I'm seeing that there's um, a lot of uh, brownish tones on our skin in relation to this sort of gold um, lace stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that same color and go right over here. Let's go right over it, all of it right there. Really push that a little bit just to get the color down. And it's gonna look like the skin at the beginning here. But we're gonna push down the values, push the values deeper with the brownish colors. Make sure you think of the shapes that, shapes of the shadows, okay? Like this, see that? What are those shapes? Create those shapes and you will be golden. Okay, keep pushing those values. You, when I say value, you're gonna make it darker or lighter, you know? Um, 
or rather you know just keep it light in other words don't push as harshly with the darker tones so that's what i mean by value there's a something called a value scale and i urge you guys to look up um, on youtube videos for that i've been meaning to do a um, color theory video it's been proving difficult because i'm busy um, but we'll get it done and i will do a value scale video as well uh, eventually see now the more that we push these colors uh, and in mixing the one the more that we push these darker tones it starts to mix with the lighter one so you gotta be very very gentle not to push too much to uh, not to put too much pressure on the color itself otherwise it's going to start to look muddy so just lightly on top right there and underneath right there boom apply what we're what we're doing is we're creating these shapes to pop making those shapes pop welcome to those of you who are here oh have a good night kelly 103 uh, welcome to those of you who are here. I uh, we're doing some coloring for this piece, for a commission piece. All right, we're gonna actually push this color more here. The more evenly you use that one color the more flat that space is going to look that distance is going to look so if you were to you know add more value in comparison to this then you change the plane does that make sense so if you keep it even in one color then you you get a nice smooth and actually that's the highlight does not go there so i'm going to Go ahead and re-evaluate that. That's about right right here. There we go. Now we've got the highlight where it goes. So you can control these things. And this is where, you know, technique is, is so important because you're actually telling the, the, the story accurately by uh, applying the values where they go. If you do something too dark, then it's going to look like there's a hole where it doesn't need to be, you know? Um, so just take your time, look at the reference, and then look back at, you know, and then you can use that to your advantage. Alrighty, looking good. Cool. So we've got these other deeper tones right over here on the shoulder. See that? Very, very dark in there. So we're going to push that a little bit. Okay, there's that. We're going to push these right here too. And they look kind of reddish. You know, they're kind of warm, these, uh, these colors over here. This is, you know, that's because there's, there's blood in there. There's, you know, this, there's, you know, life running through her veins and whatnot. So that's what we're looking at right there. There we go, and we're gonna actually push this color just a little smidgen that way. All right, so now that we got that down, we're gonna go ahead and start pushing the colors for the horse. What do you guys think? Do me a favor, if you guys can share this live right now, that'd be greatly appreciated if you share it 
three times with your friends or with you know three friends all at once whatever you want to do as long as you guys share this i would greatly appreciate it and also if you guys decide that you want to support me by sharing it in your story guys if you tag me i definitely tag back i tag back um and and you pretty much get a free shout out so yeah get it done let's do this let's work together also if you guys decide that you would like you know to uh spread the word about my art um in any way shape or form yes you can tag me but also use hashtag alani j army and that means you are an awesome fan and you want to make sure that i get out there and recognized for the work i do so use the hashtag alani j army you will be my my soldiers of awesomeness Also, if you guys ever see my art out there and I'm not tagged, tag me. I would love to see who's putting my word out there and, uh, you know, see where you guys are coming from. Where, where are you guys from? And uh, I like to keep, I like to check out how, you know, where, where people are looking uh, for art and things like that. It's really cool. It's really, and, and the pages that share art all the time are my prime sort of uh, place for inspiration. So, you know, if you guys share something cool with me, I would definitely love to check it out. Alrighty, so we said we're going to go to the horse now. And um, what do you see? I see sort of these purplish tones on this side. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's yellowish and, and warm colors on this side and purple on this side. So I'm thinking the main light source is coming from that direction, or rather from that direction to here. So let's see, let's try to get, let's try to capture that. All I'm thinking about is the plane. So the, this side right here of the face will catch the light a certain way. So I'm trying to just think about, okay, you know, in relation to the light source and everything, where would the light actually show? So I'm just putting some value down and I know it looks darker than the white. However, this is gonna be darker than this when it's done, kind of like this, okay? Oh, and also I wanted to shout out Poppy Dimple for purchasing a badge. This is also another way that you guys can support me and support my art is by supporting this live. You know, freaking uh, purchase a badge, purchase two, purchase as many as you want. And um, you guys will be shouted out. You will be pinned uh, during the live. Hello, Kireji. Hello, Kireji. Let's see who we got here. And I wanted to, there she is. Hey, there we go. Thanks so much, Bobby Dimple, for hooking it up with the support. I'm just gonna go right over everything here. Just wanna give that, just wanna give this a certain value. Sorry about that. Got to put the camera down for a second. All right, there where you guys can sort of see what I'm doing. Just moving that part into place. There we go. Okay, let's uh, erase a little more. And yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is 
This is Kobe back here. What do you guys think of that? I did this one back in January, and um, it was such a sentimental, you know, situation. Uh, very, very heartbreaking, the fact that uh, he passed away, and, well, call him the GOAT basketball. So, yeah, I, I drew him, and, um, yeah, RIP, RIP Kobe. Oh, did I, did I was zoomed in? There we go. I was like, why is it so close? Okay, now that we've got these values for that side, um, let's go ahead and do values for the purple side, which is going to be right about here and about here. And I'm intentionally trying to make these edges. that are darker toward the inside and lighter toward the outside. And yeah, you can lay in some of your shadows like that too, so that you can, you know, you, you can kind of feel what the horse is looking like just by applying these um, other values and um, this is this is looking a mess right wouldn't, wouldn't you agree I definitely agree shoot man I, I, I totally agree that this is looking like a hot hot mess however this is the way art starts you know this is the beginning of it and you will see how it turns out this is gonna be awesome for those of you who would like to check out my YouTube channel just go on the link in bio and you can certainly subscribe and hit like and comment on my videos on there. You guys can enjoy that. We're going to just put these colors very lightly at the edge there. Push these values a little more now. Now that we've got a little base of what we're doing, this right there will have sort of like these things on the face, shapes. You don't have to know what everything is called. You really don't. But it helps because then you can describe it to people. If you're teaching this, you know, you, you're welcome to, you know, look stuff up and, and like, learn it so that you can explain it but you know if you're an artist sometimes you just don't want to explain anything and you just want to draw and have fun it's okay if you don't know these things however it'll make you stand out if you do know them if you do know the pieces and parts of a horse so yeah you know, today i won't stand out today but i will learn the 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 parts of the face of a horse I, you know i i will just not right this second. I just want to point that out. Like you, you want to know more every single time. Ultimately, that's why you're doing art. Yes, you are having fun, but you're also exploring your body. You're literally exploring your body to understand your limits and how you can use what your hands can do to project an image of what is in your head. And boy, that's, you know, tough at times you know but the more you do it the easier it gets the brain is an amazing tool and it continues to learn and, and get stronger much and heal much faster than the muscles in your body like the brain is just jelly that changes with every single thing you do you know very very interesting and i always want to point that out that you want to continue learning you want to push for betterment you always want to push for a, a a way of understanding that um that way th those ways of of understanding will uh 
take the, your art to the next level really, really well. For me, it has been the color theory aspect. You know, uh, understanding color theory has changed the way I color. I mean, I would have never, I would have never used purple to start a piece like this. You know, uh, if I didn't know about color theory, but now that I do, I'm definitely going to use it because it's freaking amazing. The results are so much more dynamic, and you know, the realism, you know, and all that stuff, and. Um, and thinking about lighting too, you know, it, it wasn't something I used to do and now I do. And, uh, and it has changed an entire, like my entire art career. You know, people like my art now. <laughs> Some people do, right? Some people. Now I'm applying brown just because I want to transition and I want to sort of continue to blend these things in. The more I do that, <clears throat> the the more dynamic it'll look and then the more colors will shine through once I apply the black. Um, if you if you decide not to do that, then it will look very um, like anyone can do it kind of thing. So really strive to to, you know, understand what was going on here you know you you want to have more color and you know what honestly you don't have to have color if you don't want to and it's really a decision that you can make however knowing how to do it is important because then you can decide not to apply more color if you really want to it's not like you have to by you know just because you know it you don't have to apply it that's the thing though that by knowing what you can do, you know your options, you, you know what you want to go with, you want to continue a, uh, a routine of making your art stand out, and you can make a variation of this if you wanted to, then you can, how would you do that, well, you would, you know, you could apply reds, and it'll all be about value, you know, when I say value, you know, some of you understand, some don't, but I, I'm not talking about price, I'm talking about, um, how dark and light something is and um and how you can use that to your advantage to show form value so you know notice that this is this is lighter than this this is a darker this is a darker shade of value um than this area here all this is going to get black though you know um and even even now I, I say that but it doesn't have to get black knowing color theory i can apply i can apply you know mer ultramarine blue like an indigo blue really dark um and by mixing it with this specific color it'll look black you know but it will still be more dynamic than just you know jet black notice that now that we have applied this darker color now this starts to shine and 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 brighten up as well do me a favor if you guys are here and enjoying the show the display um go ahead and, and take a moment head over to the link in the bio and subscribe and turn on the post notifications for my youtube I have a lot of videos there in which you guys can see some of these techniques and um, in, in a few of them I have the materials listed as well as um, a list of I list down like the steps of what I was thinking about when I was doing the pieces so go check them out applying that purple all right now that we got that purple down now we can apply this brown and with this brown it's gonna do is gonna give us a little bit more push back on the areas we need that to push back right there and 
this right here will sort of brush on. Notice the more I apply, the more the form's starting to take shape. <laughs> no pun intended, but definitely intended. Um, so that's the kind of thing you want to do. You know, you want to take what you know and sort of break it down. And once you do break it down and, and take it a step at a time, you will um, eventually achieve what you want. And it's, it's little by little. It's, it's progressive. But I want you guys to go rewind this when, this when this airs on IGTV. Rewind this a few times, as many times as you need to, and, and re-watch it. Uh, and find out what I did. I mean, I explained it to the best of my abilities, but if you need to rewind it, then and you are going to do that, if you are going to do that, then that's because you really want to learn something today. And there you go. That's that's all you need. If you learn something today and you can put it into work right away, then that is something that and no one can take away from you, that knowledge. No one can take away from you. Okay, we're gonna apply a little bit of this. Yellow right there. Here we go, this is how we're looking, folks. And yes, there is another section right down here. We're gonna put that purple over on this side. Mm-hmm. The more you darken the outside of this, the brighter that side will look. So that's something to keep in mind. And this is the body. You guys didn't notice that with these two lines, there was a body hidden right there. <laughs> so that's cool. Gotcha. <laughs> if you guys would like to support me, uh, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. The link is on the bio. And you can also purchase badges while this live is going on. Yes, we have we have the lighting guys we have achieved the lighting and what's interesting is only gonna get better from here it's only gonna get better from here because we're still gonna be darkening this more um, and man do I find this enjoyable like this is so fun drawing animals is like rare for me but I want to draw more if you guys have a little pet that you would like to have me draw definitely commission me and you guys can uh, DM me to do that, to get a commission. Uh, I would love to help you with that, that's awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm applying this purple, knowing that the darker you know, highlights, in other words, these highlights, those are darker than these other ones. They're, I'm applying purple, that is what I selected and that's what I gotta stick with so that it looks consistent. Knowing that the purple is the lightest dark or rather, yes, the lightest shadows, this right here will get that purple. So that's what I'm applying. I'm Now, mind you, though, I am putting the purple around the shape of that birthmark so that by the time I apply this baby, it looks awesome. Watch this. You ready? This is going to be actually the marine blue. This is that blue on top of the brown. And I'm going to take it lightly here doing some uh, major shapes and the more I darken this 
around that birthmark, the lightest, the lighter that looks. You see that? And I can just go over this, that's fine. That's okay, because it's gonna be black anyways, and it's all good. gotta say nobody can take the place of bob ross but i appreciate when people call me that like i i'm you know far from where you know he even started at you know but if i can get a little closer you know that's cool and if i and that just means that i need to understand all these concepts so that's that's my goal is to sort of understand what he understood which, man, is, is it vast, you know? Bob Ross, I just uh, watched a little bit of his, of a video in which they said, we found Bob Ross's paintings. <laughs> people just didn't know where they were. Many people have been trying to purchase his stuff for a while. It's very interesting, it's on YouTube, you guys can check it out. If you guys do appreciate what I'm doing over here and uh, showing you my process, I would appreciate your support with um, with uh, batch purchases and uh, subscribing on YouTube. The link is on the bio for that, and it's pretty easy to do, and it doesn't cost you anything. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we got this blue that, that we have applied onto the brown. Cool, right? But it's not dark enough. It's not dark enough. Uh, what this blue does, however, is it sets the mood for a darker color. And that is what is going to be the biggest push of this. It's going to really make everything, including this lighting, pop. And that's what we want. That's, you know, every little bit counts. Notice that where the white is the most is where that blue shows the most. So um, by applying more pressure onto the uh, brown area, that's where you're going to get your black look from. So if you need at any given time to apply more of the consistent color of the black you want to do, right? What you need to do is take the brown you were using. This is not it. Hey, brown, where'd you go? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Found it. It's kind of small. <laughs> you do that right there. You mix that blue with that brown, and boy, does it look rich. Woo-wee, yes. That blue with that brown oh boy and go again if you need to you know just to really darken it up and there we go that's how it's looking guys all right let me go ahead and pick up the phone you guys can check that out for a moment i'm gonna get you guys pretty close here you guys think are you guys are you guys feeling about it does it look cool by the way i want to point out that i have switched the uh times for the drawing hour the drawing hour is going to be today later on uh, it's going to be on mondays and thursdays Mondays and Thursdays from 6 to 9. 6 to 9? What am I thinking? 6 to 7? Shoosh. 
six to nine is if uh if if i really need to go longer on a piece you know but uh or if i'm really having a great conversation with an artist you know if anybody would if you guys would like to participate on the drawing hour uh send me a request for that um it's it's definitely spaces are limited but i did want to extend that as an option for some people out there if you guys would like to display your art talking about your sketchbooks and things i'll be open to uh taking a look and um and hopefully we can get you on the show so make sure you send the requests for that but make sure you subscribe onto youtube if you do that then you support me i support bag you know now I'm applying this black, and this black I'm not pushing that much at all. I'm literally gracing the page. There's, there's no, not crazy pressure being applied here at all because the black, it, it takes over everything. Maybe this part right here I'm going to push right there. But you don't want to... Uh, overdo it with the black because it's not black that we are trying to accent it's color so by taking the black color stick you are adding a layer of you know sort of a push back depth you know you're adding depth to the entire thing um, and that depth comes from the color of the reference right here you know? Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need to push this. See that it looks kinda white. I don't like that. So I'm gonna push purple in there and I'm mixing it with that black. So that's what's happening is it's making it opaque so that you cannot see that white graininess coming through. That's ultimately what smudging is, isn't it? Except I don't like to smudge, I like to blend. And that right there is looking good, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Push that blue again right there and then went along with that blue we're gonna push that brown just recreate that plane right there and that's what we're looking at guys Getting that, ooh, careful. Applying that dark on the outside of this. Boom. There we go, guys, there it is, we did it. That's the piece right there, and now we can add those trees in the background just by, you know, applying some random, we're applying some random shapes with this yellow first because we want to show the light once we show the light then we can create the shape of the darker colors here that are going to make that pop
Just dab like this. Dab just like that. You're creating happy little trees. And just like that, folks, there you have it. Such an amazing guy, Bob Ross, man. <sighs> miss you, Bob, miss you. We all wanted to be like you. We all want to be like you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and add some blue to the skies. Thanks so much for your support. Only, only Ty Leet. Appreciate you. There you go. You get pinned. Thank you. This is the kind of thing you could do, you know? You can create your own cloud shapes. That's all right. No one's gonna judge you. This is your world. You make it as happy as you want it to be. Guys, thank you guys so much for your amazing support. Thank you so much for your time. I feel like if we can all help each other in some way, shape, or form, I would love to help in showing you my process and in hopes that you would uh, take it to create some amazing artwork and help people. If you can help people, that's probably the best, best I can ever point out so thank you guys so much for your time and for your amazing batch purchases and um keep keep going keep going keep making art this about ends it here for today make sure that you tune in at 6 p.m today for the drawing hour it's going to be from six to seven eastern time and we just drew these wonderful peeps right over here much love to you we will see you next time and make sure you find the balance between the body and the mind by working out your brain power. <laughs> Much love. Take care.